guys, what's up? I'm vlogging. I know you're probably like, Trish, we've seen you in this sweatshirt for like the past three videos and you're absolutely right because I maximize my filming days. Um, I've only had one filming day this week because it was a really busy week for my husband and his job. He's been building like a, he's, he does oversized furniture. So he's been building this oversized furniture. Well, he does custom furniture. He can do anything, but he does like oversized as like a specialty. So he was doing a bunch of oversized furniture for the past couple months and he finally had to go and like ship it all, approve it all, all stuff like that. Um, so that was like a big task for him. So he had been having to go back and forth. He's doing stuff with his building. He has, he owns a building in downtown LA. So he was doing that. So it was a really busy work week for him. So, um, yeah, I was, uh, just home with Malibu all week. And so I don't really obviously like film, like I'm really lucky on days like today where it's like my filming days where, um, he can watch Malibu, but we always take turns watching her obviously. Um, because we both have flexible schedules. So again, really, really thankful and grateful that we can do that um, and stay home with her because it's just, it's truly a blessing like to always get to be with her. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I'm vlogging today because it is my filming day, but it's really not a filming day because I'm going to take the afternoon to go get Botox. Well, which is why I'm filming, which is why I'm vlogging this because I was like, you know what? I wanted to run to the mall and get, pick up some stuff for an ASMR video, some clear stuff. I already went to CVS. You guys saw the CVS haul probably. I went through Starbucks once. You probably saw that. I got the Alex Earl order. I'm going through a second time because now I'm going to start my vlog for the day. Um, and also I get my husband his hot mocha, um, on the way home so it's nice and fresh for him and when we get home he's gonna help me um learn a hebrew song i love this singer Eliad. um he's on tiktok he's been really really um sweet to me we've had like a couple conversations um and he always does these duets and i've done them now for like three years i always do at him and i think it's just a really good way to kind of start learning hebrew and i really want to start learning hebrew i'm actually thinking about getting a tutor because yes my husband speaks hebrew but like it's not like he wants to like sit there and like teach me you know what i mean and it's like kind of hard okay i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> it's kind of hard to like teach someone a language and also like it's not that he doesn't want to it's just like I think, anyways, let me just order this coffee real quick. Hi there, what can I do for you today? Hi, yes, could I get a large hot mocha with two pumps mocha, please? Absolutely. That's it. Sounds good, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Of course. Um, it's more, um... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I think I, I like I understand it, and I feel like if you speak a foreign language, you probably understand it too. Like, it's hard one to teach like an adult, right? Like, I really think like teaching someone a language requires you to like have good teaching skills. Not that my husband doesn't have good teaching skills. I actually think he's really good at teaching. I think he. I always said this. I think he should be a professor. Like he teach he taught me so much. Um, but yeah, I think it's just one of those things where it's almost kind of like a little bit exhausting and I don't know. Anyways, I would love to get a, a Hebrew tutor and kind of just learn it and kind of surprise him. Um, I think it'd be really cool to learn it if we go to Israel. I think it's really cool because I just always have wanted to learn a second language. That's always been on my bucket list. And yes, Hebrew may not be the most practical. It may be smarter to like try and learn Spanish or something. But also I love that we would have like a secret language. So for like out in public, we could like talk about people. <laughs> I actually saw that on Lauren and Alexi on 90 Day Fiance. They're a 90 Day Fiance couple. Um, Alexi's from Israel. I think he's Russian Israeli. Because I think sometimes he speaks Russian on the show. He also speaks Hebrew. But, um, and she's uh, American Jewish because they met over, I think, during her birth birthright or maybe Aliyah or something over there um and on my old Instagram she actually had DM me one time and I thought that was really cool but they have a whole spinoff show and she has said the same thing that she was trying to learn Hebrew and get a tutor and um so they can have a secret language but I really did always want to learn to speak Hebrew so I was like yeah I want to do that but um so when we go home I I'm gonna go try and like learn a little bit of this song so I can like duet it and kind of understand what it means and then do my makeup try this oh I got the telescopic mascara I already showed that like a million times but um yeah anyways that's that's the plan today that's the plan okay we're rounding this was a really long starbucks at 10 o'clock don't come to starbucks because that's like the hour okay they had a really cute cup that i really want to buy it's like a yellow springy cup i guess spring is coming let me just not show you my passenger <laughs> it goes passenger I used to feel energies in next to me. I don't feel them right now, but like, and when, I think it was my G wagon. I used to feel like energies next to me. I um, mean, I was like, am I just giving like Uber rides to ghosts? <laughs> like I always thought that for real. Um, I am actually going to go home and change my sweatshirt too, because, um, especially I love this sweatshirt. I have filmed like three videos today in it and you know, I like to give, 
I like to give variety with my videos. <laughs> I like to get the illusion that I'm not um, filming 10 a day, which with this coffee, I can film 10 a day. Um, oh, and there's always a new, there's always a new um, person. Every time I come around, it's so weird. I'm like, do they, oh, I love people like writing in there. I wanna go into a Starbucks and just write. I think that'd be like so much fun. Okay, anyways, so many thoughts happening right now. Let me see if I can get one of these cups. Hi. Okay, is it, do you guys have those, that middle cup though? Yeah. yeah we do. Okay, can I get one of those too? Yes, thanks. Okay, thank you. It totally worked, this cup thing. Uh, Hi. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't recognize you, it's so far back. <laughs> Hila? I'm pretty, my name's Trisha, I like the name. <laughs> Oh, he's so pretty. Did you guys just get these? Yeah. Cute. No, pretty Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like your name tag. It's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> it's I love so cool. New ones. I can't stop. It's so I cool. I love it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> Good. How are you? <laughs> I have to come through and get a hot one for my husband. <laughs> Thank you very much. You too. got a cup all right we're going home now wow i've been out for an hour i've been out for an hour i can't wait to hear look like and honestly i know everyone's like don't focus on the negative because some people like you but i actually think this comment's funny so it's not even negative to me when they're like go home and spend time with your baby you go get coffee for an hour it's like oh, heaven forbid i go out and get coffee for an hour like i must stay at home work from home mom meaning i'm with my baby 24 7 like literally going out one hour i'm with her 23 7 going out one hour is like literally when it's also my job it's also my job which is so crazy but people don't like to admit that because like i don't know whatever it's fine but it's always so funny to me in those comments it's, it actually is funny because when people are like go be with your kids it's like it's always people without kids I know for sure like because no parent would like actually say that um because like what <laughs> it's so weird but anyways all right I'm super excited this was so good this was like this was the this was the choice yummy okay I just got home Got you. Got the hubby a drink. And I got the baby something too. Hold on, let me grab it. Let me grab it. I got you an avocado. Oh my God. What do you think of it? It's gonna be one of your favorite foods. Do you love, Oh. Do you love it? She's been reaching now. You love her? Ooh. You do an avocado? <laughs> she loves it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you eat an avocado. You eat an avocado. <laughs> Look at the bow the avocado has. Oh, isn't she pretty? I'm going to give it a kiss. Mwah. You got to kind of kiss. Mwah. Yeah, that's her <laughs> kiss. Good job. Good job. You give an avocado kiss? She's giving a kiss. Mm -hmm. She knows the kiss sound. <laughs> so How's funny. your avocado? <laughs> it's a different face, the kiss than eating. It's more her size. I got her that big bear the other day at CVS, and I'm like, this is more your size, isn't it? Look how cute this is. <laughs> you love her? You can hold her hand. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Kisses. Look, you touch her hand. I'm all the way to LA to get my Botox done by today. Really need it. Friday night at the mall is definitely not it at all. Okay. The 
mall is super crowded on Fridays. It's like Friday at five. And I just wanted to run in and get something from Claire's, but it's like actually so crowded. It gives me a little anxiety. Probably not the move, but I'm here. I don't want to split. Ooh, Claire's is very fancy. They moved locations. Looks cool. Valentine's Day stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Woo. Okay, a second. Hurry up, a second. I need to breathe. Woo. Okay. Oh god. Mm. Okay, if I ever. Oh my god, that might have been. Okay. I'm telling you, I am ran in my little half thing golden goose. Okay, look, here's the thing. Oh my god. Okay, good thing I parked. There's like a 15 minute parking. Thank god I parked there. Um, <laughs> first and foremost, like, thankful. Can I just say that thankful? Because I don't want this to come across as a complaint. It's more an apology, really, because it's like, I don't think I've ever been <laughs> like so like swarmed at a mall and I'm by myself. I wore my ring, which I normally don't. Um, but I thought I was just going literally to the Botox and back and ended up making like a bunch of stops. Um, and it's not like I think like people who watch me are going to steal, you know what I mean? But just in general, when there's like a crowd of people and a swarm of people, you really don't know who's fans, who's haters, um, who's just there for like distraction. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, that was, wow. Okay, again, thankful because you guys know I struggle. Not struggle with, but like, you know, when you get to be a certain age and on, on social media, like you feel like you're aging out and like, you know, my YouTube views, I've always talked about whatever, who cares. But it's just like, I feel like, you know, you do start to believe, you know, like, okay, maybe. And the only reason I care about relevancy is like my job, right? Like on all platforms that I make money and it's my job, it is my job. So you know, you do are like, okay. So I just never realized Oh gosh, I have a seat warmer on. Okay, steering wheel warmer. I just never realized like the popularity of TikTok. Like I don't understand. I don't fathom it. Even though like I see the numbers, like I have 7.8 million, which is like the most I've ever had on any platform. Um, and literally I get like hundreds of millions of views a week on there. Like it's crazy to like think, right? Like in total. Um, whew, so I forget like, but appreciative. But anyways, I sincerely apologize if you're at the Woodman Mall on at uh, 5 30 on a Friday <sighs> it was just a lot it was just chaotic like it literally when I stopped take picture with one person whoo, swarm and the thing is is there's like a pack there's packs right like teenagers of course they're at the mall in on a Friday night because that's what you do as a teenager but they were like in packs <sighs> so it just got to be a little overwhelming so like I literally ran through the food court and ran to my car and there was even people like and I say this because there was like even a kid doing a selfie with my vehicle and I was just like <gasps> and they were just all behind me. It was just like a lot. <laughs> so I I really do apologize because normally I really, really do love taking pictures. Trust me, it is like the one other form of gratitude that I love to practice daily is like whenever someone comes up to me, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like very appreciative. So appreciative more than ever because like I said, I always um, struggle with like relevancy and also like I rely on relevancy as it's my job. So it's a lot harder to be relevant sometimes if you're, when you're on your own little bubble, just minding your own business. So thank you. <laughs> I'm very grateful, but I'm also apologizing if I was like running past cause it was crazy and I feel like my heart was going to beat out of my chest. And, um, it was, it was like anxiety cause I was by myself and I just was like, Oh my gosh, I just want to make it home. I really shouldn't have stopped over because it's just, the traffic is just crazy right now. But I wanted to get ASMR stuff for tomorrow. And I was, oh my God, my stomach. I like ran. That was like the most I've ever ran. It was crazy. I can't. I have, I have to do my errands like weekdays, early morning. Um, so again, it wasn't a complaint. It was actually very nice, very flattering. And I'm like, oh, 
and thank you. And I actually wouldn't even bring attention to it if it wasn't like I owed an apology. Like, you know, I'm not, it's fine. I mean, it's fine because it's cool to get recognized. Be like, I just got recognized. Like, it is cool. I sit for me. That's fun. <sighs> but I wouldn't even bring attention to it because it's just like, if I didn't feel the need to apologize. So, apologies for that. Um, mall situations on a Friday night is maybe not the place for me to go. But, um, <laughs> and I also don't have Moses. So, it's like, Sometimes I feel because I've had him as like my literally like a bodyguard. <laughs> I need to see the titles now. Trisha Mary is her bodyguard. Charles Moses, her husband, her bodyguard. He is my bodyguard. He's my bodyguard, my protector. He's everything. He's just amazing. Um, <laughs> if you want to give him a label, give him a label, but he's just an amazing husband. So I've always had him and we were pretty much glued at the hip, but I thought, you know what, I'll just like sneak into Claire's real quick. And they actually changed the location of Claire's. It used to be at the top by the food court. So I was like, you know what, it's going to be real quick, but I actually had to go down elevators, cross the mall. Like it kind of was like a thing, but they had a lot of stuff. I was in and out. I did that shopping in literally five minutes. I was, oh my God, I like haven't ran that much. And I'm just like, it's hard for me to catch my breath. It's actually kind of scary to catch my breath. I'm like, okay. Like I said, they were mostly teenagers, but you know, you see that one lurker that's not a teenager and you're just like, mm, I don't know about this person. So while they don't mean to distract, they could be a distraction and I'm not like seeing something and yeah, I should have worn my ring. I honestly never wear my ring when I come into LA. I don't know why I put it on because if you notice in most of my videos, I don't wear it. Um, unless I know I'm like going directly to someone's house and I know the parking situation and stuff like that. It's just, it's just like in general, it's not me. It's just in general, people are just being so, um, I don't know. It's just better not to. Oh my god. And it's the sentiment of it, right? I mean, you get insurance and stuff like that, but it's like the sentiment of it. I don't know. Anyways, that was crazy. That was insane. And I'm I'm thankful. <laughs> I am thankful for it. It was it was nice. Like now that I've like caught my breath, but oh my god, it's just by yourself. And I'm not exaggerating when I say there's like 50 teenagers <laughs> that were just like and there's probably groups of like five each, so like ten groups of five. It's just a lot of young boys. Which is like, I'm not discriminating, but I'm kind of surprised. I guess TikTok? I don't know. I guess I've been in fan bases where they have like mostly like young guys are their fan base, I guess. I don't know. Today's been a day. I miss, I miss my daughter so much. I'm happy I talked to them on the way over. I literally miss them so much. Oh my God. I'm so used to doing everything as like a unit. Like we really try and do everything as a family, but obviously like going into meetings or podcasts or stuff like that. It's just, it, and driving into LA is long. Now there's so much traffic. It is like five o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> if you know anything about traffic anywhere, but also LA traffic specifically. And I live on a good day, an hour from LA. <laughs> so Friday traffic, rush hour. It's just, um, we're gonna be here for a few hours a few hours so I'm not gonna bore you guys but wow <sighs> wow let me see if there's a quicker out all right <sighs> you want to have some more food should we try it second day of food okay let's oh oh my gosh look at her just want it there you go yeah yeah hold up a spoon good job whoa <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> you almost made your mouth. Yep. Good job. <laughs> wow. You don't even need mommy, Abba. You are, wow. <laughs> How did she do it so good? It was like a one. <laughs> she knows, she's getting it in her mouth. Good job. <laughs> you want some more? Yeah, let's dip it in here. Okay, she's like, there's still some more in this spoon. It's one way of eating it. Okay, you want to try a little bit more? There she is. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's get a little more. It's got like the spoon itself. Though. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah. good job. There you go. Oh, that's okay. Good job. Mmm. Yeah, do a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Are you? Did you eat the one in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. It's mine. Almost. <laughs> 
Ama asıl yok. Öyle. Very good. You got it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. Good job. Is that good? Ashley is showered. Show them your room. Show them your room. I missed you. It smells so good. Fresh shower, fresh jammies. Time for bed. Let it go. Oh, thank you. Best part of the whole day. Okay, so I'll put her to bed at successfully. She sleeps really good. She sleeps from like 7 to like maybe 11 or midnight sometimes even. And then gets up, goes, usually gets up like 4 or 5 um, to eat, which is pretty good. And then sleeps again until 8. So, yeah. Um, I'm a YouTuber. Hi. Okay. My hair's been looking so good lately. I know. It's crazy. to the stubs <laughs> these are the miracle bars you can buy them separately i'll link below all the products on my amazon store but you can buy those separately they're, they're game changers let me tell you um but yeah this stuff is just really it makes my skin really nice like it's i get so many compliments even like out in public from like people who watch my videos like your skin looks so good in person like it I'm not kidding when I say that. <laughs> like it's amazing. And that's why I'm like so like so happy to bring the skincare back because like I use these products like all the time. Like it's I've used them literally since quarantine. And it just feels so good. Like this feels oh it feels amazing. I'm gonna swap it around and do the other side, but honestly, it's like, oh, it feels like I'm at a spa. Best part of the day. Yeah. Removing makeup is just, oh, amazing, all of it. I'm gonna get down on my neck. So good. And then sometimes I just take off my makeup with a wet cloth and then do my face routine later. But I've been getting in the habit of doing it even before dinner and stuff. I kind of stay up late because I've been working on my book late. But even before dinner, I try and um just have it washed. So it's just done, you know, it's like one less thing to worry about. And it's been working really nice, but like are you kidding me right now? This, I know, just so I love these pads so much. So as there's like a little bit, you got all the makeup off. One pad, I know I used two before. I'm like, if you need one, why'd you use two? And I was like, more just like showing the effect, but you only need one. And then again, I'm gonna actually be using my face with soap, but if you want to just end it here. By the way, I wash my face with cold water. I recommend doing it warm, but I wash it with cold. God, I think it like tightens up your skin. Like I'm from the Midwest, and whenever it was cold, oh my god, my skin would look so good. It's kind of like I feel like ice <laughs> for your face if you can. Obviously, it's personal, but yeah, it was so good. Okay, 
so like I said, when you could kind of be done and just like do your skin routine later so you can take off your makeup at any time because I like to take my makeup off as soon as possible during the day. But um, make sure you tighten those. But because I'm here, I'm going to just go ahead and do my night skin routine. Cold water, my mirror cold water. I also have these in my shower because when I wash my hair, I like to just do a deep... Um, a deep clean, but oh, this is like the best feeling. Oh, my God, it looks so good. Wow. And when I do it, like where I take my makeup, like where I bring my makeup down, I try not on it. And, like if you can like lather it in for like a like a minute or two, like I'm gonna have to get impatient, but I like, really let it sit in my hair. It feels so good. Okay, like. Yeah, like my skin is like crazy. Like I like the reason I'm like gloating so much about it is because I've always had terrible skin. And when I mean terrible, like yes, I have texture, yes, I have like a little redness and stuff, which the redness is going away, but I used to have like huge cystic acne like out of nowhere. Like my diet really hasn't changed. Like I've been eating a lot of fast foods lately, which is like not good, but you know, I still eat cheeses and stuff, and my skin has been like so clear, like it's just never been like this ever in my adult or teenage life. So I'm really like Really proud of it. And not only that, but it glows too, which is amazing. Mm. They say to pat dry, but I just like <laughs> I have this bit in there. <sighs> I really just try to make sure my eyes are clean because like that's a big part for me. I'm just <sighs> oh, it feels so, so good. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It feels amazing. So and then I use my night serum. Love this stuff, glow in the night. So good. This stuff is like so amazing on your face. Squeeze. Like that. I'm not gonna even try and do it. I put it on my fingers. There's like an aesthetic way to do it on TikTok. I can't. And I'm gonna rub it in my face. Oh, it looks so good. And I kinda like let that set for like a minute. So good though. It's amazing. <laughs> then I take my Malibu Sunset under my cream. <sighs> Malibu Sunrise for the morning and Malibu Sunset for the evening. But, like, are you kidding me right now? My skin. I mean, this lighting's like not even good. You can tell it's like under lip, but it's like so good. It's amazing. <laughs> This stuff is so good. So you can order on ASMRskin.com or if you go to Amazon, like I said, I'll link below Amazon. If you just like Amazon and trust Amazon more, it's you have to be verified to be a seller on Amazon. They verify all the ingredients, your company, all that stuff like that. And um, because my partner with Glow Skin Enhancements, so um, they have great product. And the best thing is everything is made, shipped, all of that from the US right here in California. Actually, it's literally like 20 minutes from my house. So I've been there, I've seen it. It's really amazing. And I'm like super happy to be the face of ASMR skin. All right, so then we just do a little bit of night cream. And a little bit does go a long ways. The morning cream a little goes a long, long ways, but this feels so good. Kind of work it all in. And that's my skincare routine. So easy peasy. I wish my hand up. I guess it's a cream. But we took last night, so we ordered it in tonight. And we yeah, ordered it in Tuesday after I had a big lunch with Erwan. So I just got some pot stickers. But I feel like here you're seeing like my skin better. It's like reflecting from the light. So good. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> 
say whatever you want about me, but this stuff works so good. Like it's, feels good. My face feels amazing. <laughs> 